Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to be doing is putting on some strips. These are by Bior. All the time now, I love this Brow Wiz by Anastasia in the shade Chocolate, I believe. And what I like to do is like outline the brow shape that I have. And then going in with a different product and just basically filling in the blank spots, like where the hairs are not. And just, that's going to make that perfect eyebrow shape. Now to be filling in the blank spots, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. pomade in medium brown. Like I said, this is honestly my everyday tutorial like to on my brows. Next, we're going to be grabbing my NYX concealer. And this one is in shade Porcelain. I'm grabbing a flat brush. And just cleaning out all the edges, making the brows look sharp as anything. I love doing this. It just makes my, I don't know, cleaning my brows makes my eyebrows pop out even more. And just everything looks much cleaner on your face. Grabbing my favorite concealer, the Tarte Shape Concealer. Prepping my eyelids for my eyeshadow and this one is in shade light I believe and also setting it with my airspun translucent powder favorite thing to do don't forget to set because then your eyeshadow will crease grabbing my favorite palette at the moment the Carly Bible deluxe palette grabbing that medium brown shade and popping that into my crease area This is a get ready with me, so I literally look like complete shit in the beginning. <laughs> Grabbing that brown shade from the palette as well and popping that in my crease area as well. I'm basically just going to like intensify the shadow to be like more darker on my crease. Blending is key, guys. Grabbing that dark brown from the eyeshadow palette just to like make my eye look more dark I did want to go more towards like a smoky eye type of look I don't know then after that we're gonna be grabbing my elf eyeshadow brush and grabbing that white and just cleaning up my brow bone grabbing this wet and wild nude awakening palette and yes, I suck at opening stuff because of my nails. But that black, I'm just going to be grabbing it in my outer corner and blending it in my crease area as well. Like I said, I did want to go for more of a dark, smoky eye type of look. When it comes to using black eyeshadow, you have to be so careful with blending everything out and not putting it as harsh, I guess you can say. Now, who does this? Wears baggy shirts <laughs> to do their makeup so they can clean out their makeup on their shirt. That's totally me. Anyways, just clear up your brow, brow bone one more time so it can pop out more. 15, sec 15 minutes pass and time to take off that strip off your nose. And make sure you use your moisturizer, this one, this lotion, any lotion, just to moisturize that area. Grabbing my NYX concealer, the same one we use for my brows. And basically, we're just going to cut the crease halfway with that white eyeshadow from the palette always make sure you set any concealer because then it's not going to crease grabbing that highlighter from the palette spraying it with my elf setting setting spray I'm sorry and applying it to the part where we applied the concealer grabbing my nude awakening palette the black and just make sure you blend out the harsh edge that we created my e.l.f. eyeliner honestly is the my best friend. Like I honestly love this eyeliner. This one is in jet black, I believe. And yeah, I mean we all make mistakes, so you'll see that I messed up, but don't worry. My my cellar water definitely helped me out with this. And yeah. Now grabbing my NYX liquid crystal liner in shade. I think it's 101. I will have everything down in the description box, so don't forget to check that out. I'm just going to be applying that glitter liner on top of my crease just so we can give it a dramatic look. My um, video. Oh, I don't know. Have fun. Be safe. You! You be safe. I Let know, me know I'm how sure, it goes. I'm going to switch my location, but I'm going to share it to the group or whatever. Alright. 
Shout out to my best friend Vanessa. Anyways, prepping my eyelashes with some mascara. Now the eyelashes we're going to be using are Adele's 203 and I wasn't liking the lashes at all but then like I kind of did like them at the end. Anyways I did prime my face with the hard candy coconut water and also sprayed my face with the Mario Badescu in rose water. For foundation, the CoverGirl Violet Foundation mixed with my Wet n Wild Foundation in Nude Ivory. The first one was too dark, that's why. And yes, the packaging did, did break when I got it off the mail and I was just too lazy to return it. So I have to deal with it. These two concealers have been my holy grails. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 and the Tape Shape Concealer in Light. And they just honestly like have been saving my under eye circles. Once again, setting everything, even my under eyes, my whole face basically, so everything can just be set in place. Using my e.l.f. duo in St. Lucia for contouring that brown shade, that darker shade, obviously. I'm going to be bronzing up my face, going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, using that medium shade to contour my face. Also, grabbing my... A brush, I forget what brush it is, I will have everything down in the description box. Contouring my nose a tad bit. Now grabbing a fluffy brush, going back with the palette, grabbing that brown and just applying it to my lower lash line. I'm also going to be grabbing the Wet n Wild Black eyeshadow and also just darkening up as well. Grabbing some mascara. You guys already know, Luminoso Milani, my favorite blush in the whole entire world. I honestly adore this brush. Blush? <laughs> grabbing for highlighter, I'm going to be grabbing the Milani in shade 01. Yes, for highlighting. And after that, I'm obviously going to be... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just... I hate when that happens. I get a foundation on my skin and it doesn't seem like I have any lips. Now going in and setting my spot setting it spraying it with my elf setting spray and applying more highlighter by elf and making dewy setting spray for the final touches i honestly love this setting spray now i never do this but i i'm just gonna outline my lips with the essence pencil and grabbing my milani 55 lipstick and applying that as well i did want to go for some glossy lips so i just grabbed some elf lip gloss and just pop that on Protector and I've been using this and my hair straightener for the past like like seven years honestly I've honestly loved this straightener so much this one is by Remington and yeah guys with that concludes my get ready with me I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this kind of like outline of it if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know down in the description well down in the comment section and of course I would do them I love you guys so so much and thank you